Bitcoin has seen a significant correction towards the downside and I need to talk about some urgent Bitcoin price targets I currently have on the chart. So make sure to watch this video till the end because right now as well while this is happening for the first time we've been confirming a lower low on the Bitcoin price action and also the spot Bitcoin ETF inflows from yesterday were significantly lower compared to Monday and Tuesday. So what does this mean for Bitcoin next? I will be talking about this, the biggest opportunity we currently have in the market where bitcoin will be finding support and many more important charts so without any further ado guys don't forget to once again slap that like button back above 900 likes it will be absolutely incredible and with that being said let me jump straight away in towards the content and bitcoin indeed has seen a significant correction towards the downside yesterday on the channel we were looking at the symmetrical triangle and ever since that bitcoin broke that upper sloping support line i mentioned yesterday bitcoin has seen a significant correction towards the downside it bounced back towards the upside but after that we just saw an even bigger candle towards the downside so this all this all happened in a couple hours and honestly right now for the first time bitcoin is once again trading below its previous autumn high because this red line right here that you can see has been the previous bitcoin autumn high you can clearly see in the past it has provided resistance right here but also once we broke above it two times before it has been providing massive support so bitcoin is currently breaking below the previous autumn high and that is in my opinion quite a bearish thing and since we're right now seeing that first big correction in the market right now for bitcoin i could potentially start to say that right now there is arguably a scenario possible where bitcoin is starting to create a slight little downtrend while we were first of all trading in an uptrend right now it looks to be that we are of course potentially reversing the trends on bitcoin right now since we're creating lower highs on the top side but more importantly we have broken below this very important level of support but also have confirmed a lower low here on the one hour time frame and honestly in this entire trend towards the upside we've only seen bitcoin create higher lows so unless we're going to see a very strong bounce back and break above that previous high in the market which which is right now sitting around 72 000 US dollars i actually think that bitcoin is going to start trading in a slight little downtrend and of course you can clearly see it here on the four early time frame because i pointed it out we were creating higher low after higher low after higher low after higher low but this for the first time we've been confirming a lower low and this is of course a thing you should pay attention to because currently we're seeing a clear structure shift on the bitcoin price action right now and i will take this very very serious unless bitcoin of course breaks back towards the upside and of course confirms the break above the previous range high in the market which in this case, what I also will straight away point out here, is going to be 71,800. So I'm going to be looking very closely towards that level. And previously around also provided massive support for Bitcoin. And here you can clearly see it is acting as resistance. And as Bitcoin is going to be bouncing back towards the upside, which I do believe is going to be happening, we are most likely going to be finding somewhat of resistance around this level. And then yesterday as well, we saw actually a very low spot Bitcoin ETF inflow because on Monday we saw more than a billion flowing in on tuesday we saw more than 680 million us dollars flow in but yesterday we only saw a net inflow on the spot bitcoin etf of about 132 million us dollars this could also be a reason why bitcoin of course crashed so significantly towards the downside because yes we clearly saw that while we were having billions of dollars in inflows bitcoin not necessarily pushed up higher so a lot of people are actually selling off their bitcoin right now and due to the low inflows on the spot bitcoin etfs it basically allowed the market to be having that significant move Move towards the downside so this could be potentially a reason why bitcoin did move down here but you have to understand that while you are potentially panicking right now we are still trading in a larger time frame uptrend so on the daily time frame i think we're still looking good 12 hour time frame we're looking super good and honestly we're just seeing a very slight rejection in a more significant and broader uptrend where we are currently trading in and honestly we've seen these big shakeouts before and every single time once we do see a big correction on the price action of Bitcoin, it is going to be an opportunity. And to point out what I think is going to be happening next here. I mean, we know that in this cycle that we're currently trading in, the standards of a Bitcoin correction are a little bit different here. Always once we've seen a 20% correction in this market, it has always reflected maximum opportunity to be opening up new Bitcoin long positions. And I've said this many times before on my channel, if Bitcoin were to be seeing a 20% correction 
anytime soon or the next time when it will be happening i will be taking it opportunity with both hands and in this case a 20 percent correction for bitcoin would put it back down around 58,000 us dollars and that is going to be a target where i will be opening up massive bitcoin long positions if we were to be coming down towards that level because i am very clear and i'm very aware that bitcoin indeed is right now trading at optimize things are looking very strong and as the inflows potentially are going to be reversing again bitcoin could also bounce back very quickly just like it has done every single time in the past already so i am not necessarily going to get fooled by this correction towards the downside but i do want to be pointing out we're seeing a clear structure trend here we're seeing this time around a clear shift in trend since we're confirming a lower low and these lower highs on the chart here and on bitcoin so potentially we could enter a larger correction and if we were to be having a larger correction just like i said earlier earlier it would only be a big opportunity to accumulate more bitcoin for that bitcoin bull run that is about to be happening and potentially some long positions and the maximum opportunity is going to occur once bitcoin is going to be having a 20 percent correction on the lower side so if you want to be trading this move here on bitcoin don't forget to sign up an account to bybit right now here because bybit is the exchange where you can trade bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency because bybit has literally listed more pairs than binance and is also the faster list are compared to Binance. So do you want to have the maximum opportunity on trading Bitcoin and making profit with it? Make sure to go to the link description of today's video where you can get a deposit bonus worth up to $30,000 and without this link it's only $400 so it's a massive win-win scenario. So check it out in the link description if you're interested in trading and let me continue with the video because currently I don't believe that we are in the stage where we necessarily should be panicking. And of course, we can clearly see we're seeing an average or slight rejection on Bitcoin. But historically speaking, in the previous bull run, we've seen this many times before and potentially the weekly candle can still shift around in towards the green candle once again but you have to understand that right now we are in the most exponential phase in the market and usually it is very stupid to be bearish right now here and just like i said earlier yes we could be potentially experience a slight correction here but the macro is still in an uptrend and that is the most important thing to understand right now we can also currently clearly see that we're getting an ever so slight projection from that ultimate high on the weekly time frame we have seen it as well previously in the 2020 uh bull market once we of course were trying to be breaking above that ultimate high we consolidated around ultimate highs for four weeks before we absolutely broke above it and we saw that of course move to the 1.618 which in this case around is going to be sitting around 100,000 US dollars but bitcoin indeed is just consolidating and we're just having another opportunity to actually accumulate your favorite altcoins against a cheaper valuation because while bitcoin in indeed saw a seven percent correction we can clearly see there are many altcoins out there that has actually also seen a significant move towards the downside so it does give you the opportunity to of course accumulate some altcoins against a cheaper valuation and of course i am still super bullish on ethereum and i don't think that you should be fading this right now because in 69 days from now on we will have the spot ethereum etf and this is going to just like bitcoin attract a lot of capital and at the end of the day we are right now seeing quite a significant correction on ethereum and yesterday i also shared this trading opportunity in my video where i talked about ethereum ethereum is creating a consolidation phase like you can see right here i talked about this consolidation phase and honestly after it broke down we basically saw a couple rejections from this level and after that it moved down over 10 percent here so if you took this trade on ethereum congratulations this was a beautiful breakout trade that we did got here but honestly we're seeing a 10 percent correction well indeed we're just days out before that spot ethereum etf and at the same time if we're looking at ethereum right now it is currently actually deflationary while bitcoin of course have still an inflationary supply so that also makes it an extremely bullish case for the upcoming bull run and honestly the ethereum compared to bitcoin pair is still consolidating still has not officially broken out against that bitcoin pair but once it breaks out it will break out explosive and it will break out very quickly that is a thing you have to understand once it breaks out it goes too fast and you don't have the opportunity to accumulate anymore but like i said in many videos before i decided to sell a lot of my bitcoin to actually go into ethereum because i do believe that this chart is actually going to be reversing towards the upside so every day that passes by right now is going to be a day closer towards that etf and is going to be a day closer towards massive inflows from large institutions like we're just seeing on bitcoin right now as well so you have to understand that wall street will definitely benefit from this correction towards the downside because a moment ago just literally on monday they bought more than a billion us dollars while bitcoin was trading above seventy-two thousand us dollars currently it's sitting around sixty-eight thousand dollars. and honestly you are getting trapped for being bearish on bitcoin right now here you are going to be trapped 
if you are too bearish on Bitcoin right now. And I said it in the video, yes, there is a possibility we are going to be having that 20% correction, but this is not my base case scenario. But if this were to be happening, it would equal maximum opportunity. But please don't be that stupid trader that sells off its whole, whole portfolio to potentially buy back right here, because then you're just going to be losing out. You're just most likely going to be losing out if that is your strategy. But if Bitcoin were to be coming down towards this level, that is the point where I am going to be opening up massive Bitcoin long positions. That is my strategy. You need to have your own strategy, but this is going to be maximum opportunity if Bitcoin comes down towards that level. I don't necessarily expect it is going to be happening, but if it does happen, that will be a massive shakeout from weekends and a big opportunity for us that do believe on where Bitcoin is going towards next. So this was it for me in today's update video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to slap the like button on today's update video. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys back tomorrow on another update video. Peace out. Goodbye.